Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we're going to test out the gaming performance of the new Vivo V5. So the Vivo V5 is the latest uh, mid-range phone which is priced uh, almost 18,000 and this phone comes with a 5.5 inch HD display and it is powered by the MediaTek MT6750 Octa-Core chipset which is coupled with 4GB RAM and Mali T860 GPU. So that's the spec aspect of this device and it also has a 3000 mAh battery and 32GB storage. So the device isn't really a powerful but it does come with 4GB RAM. So we'll test out the gaming performance of this device and see how far it performs in heavy graphic rich games and also if this device heats up. So this device has a metallic uh, back panel and also has a unibody design. So we'll uh, see how far the device heats up while playing this game. So we'll play 3 games Asphalt 8 Airborne, Modern Combat 5 and Nova 3 and see how the gaming performance of this device is. So let's start off with Asphalt 8 Airborne. So now we are playing Asphalt 8 Airborne in high graphic settings and you could see that the performance is uh, pretty good, no lags or issues right now and it's pretty smooth uh, performance. The display is also pretty crisp and vibrant and even colorful display so it looks quite good but it's not a full HD display which you have expected on uh, this price range. Uh, You can see it's pretty good performance all around. So now we are done with two rounds of fast world day there, but let's see the temperature. So it's now 40.5, slightly closer to 41 degrees. On the rear panel, uh, we'll just cross check it once again. Uh, so maximum it is showing as uh, 40.5, uh, that's on the rear panel, it's cooled down a bit now. So there you go. Now on the display, you can see again it's uh, 40 degrees. Uh, 40.2, 41 you can see uh, slightly uh, higher temperature, 41 also we got, so you can see here 41.1, 41.2, so that's the maximum, it does get warm uh, on the display and uh, on uh, these edges, so uh, it does get warm after asphalt 8 airborne. So now let's go to the next game, Modern Combat 5. So here again the performance looks quite good, no lags or issues.
So now we are done with the gaming test and let's see the final temperature. Again, uh, 40.5 on the rear panel. So that's the highest temperature we are getting. We're just cross checking it once again. 40.5 is the uh, maximum temperature on the rear panel. And let's see on the display, it's again uh, 40.5, uh, lesser than uh, 41 degrees. Uh, so 41 was the highest we got on this device, 41.2. So you can see here 41, it's still on the display. So it does get uh, slightly warm, but you uh, you don't really feel it's warm because uh, uh, the device isn't uh, that hot. It's just 41.2. It's still uh, uh, slightly on the higher side, but not really uh, very worse to give an unpleasant experience overall. So talking about the gaming experience, the overall gaming performance was quite good and the MediaTek 6750 did perform quite well with 4GB RAM, no lags or issues, a couple of frame skips here and there but still uh, we would say it's a quite good uh, gaming experience overall and uh, there is 32GB there is uh, storage on the offer so you can install most of the uh, graphic rich games and we played all the games in high graphic settings and uh, the only complaint that uh, probably we have on this device is it should have had a full HD display at this price point we expect devices to have a 1080p display but this is just a 720p display so it's not a bad device for gaming it's quite good and so it does provide decent experience uh, uh, in gaming so that's all guys with the gaming test on the vivo v5 along with the heating check uh, to see if this device heats or not so thanks for watching this video hope to see you in our next video have a great day